I don't know how I keep getting sick. I'm super congested and I'm blowing my nose and all kinds of goops coming out. I just, how do I keep getting sick? It's like every week I get a cold for a couple of days and I never like fully, everything never, eh, everything doesn't fully open up in my head. Like it just is constantly in this state of, of congestion and it's just pissing me off. And I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to go on some kind of crazy vitamin kick or something like that coming up here just just go crazy with vitamins and see what happens because it's like nothing is working right now nothing is nothing I got to be a little bit more proactive the the stay at home not do anything don't go out and hang out with people obviously not working uh, Ben's a little petri dish um, so anytime he's got a sniffle which is all the time I seem to get it because I'm highly susceptible to uh, to respiratory issues it's just I've always had it man I hate being sick What's up? All right, so I found out today that I have a lofty connection to the uh, to the 1.6 billion dollar lottery winner. Look how dark the freaking parking lot is. What the hell? The lights out everywhere. That's not safe at all. Well, let me tell you about it. Brother, you're 24 seven and 24. Well, you know. All right, who do? So it turns out I share a identical name first and last with a PR strategist out of, or strategist, out of New York. And I discovered this fact a couple years ago when I started getting emails from his mom or mother-in-law, whatever. Anyways, we figured it out. Turns out this guy is like a Fox News contributor, very active in the Jewish religion community. And today, my wife and my sister and I think another person started getting voicemail messages, calls on their cell phone, of NBC News and other news agencies looking for Josh, our name, our last name, which I'm not really, I don't really shy away from saying my last name on videos, but I've never done it, so I don't think I'm going to do it today. But anyway, we share a last name, and they're looking for this person named Josh, shares a last name with me, and we don't know what he's talking about, or my wife doesn't know what he's talking about. So she calls me and says, you know, they're looking for a PR strategist guy and they said your name. I'm like, oh my God, is it the guy from New York? She's like, maybe. And she's like, well, let me forward you the voicemail. This is the voicemail. Hi, Rena. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm actually trying to reach uh, Josh Nash. If, uh, if you could please give me a call back, I'd greatly appreciate it. My cell phone number is 347-673-673. Um, uh, sorry, uh, 673, uh, 4367. That's 347 673 4367. I'm trying to reach Josh. I'm with NBC National News. I'm trying to reach out to him because I believe that he's a spokesperson for, um, uh, uh Mr. Uh, Shlomo. Um, uh, give me one second here. Shlomo Reshnik, I think is his last name, R-E-C-H-N-I-T-Z. Um, please feel free to give me a call back to 347 uh, Thank you. So the voicemail clearly states that it's the looking for a guy named Shlomo. So I googled Shlomo and Josh, my last name, and sure enough, Shlomo is a healthcare magnate in California. He owns 80 plus retirement communities and he bought some 15,000, 10,000 different lottery tickets and one of the three winners of the $1.6 billion was a, a worker of his that he gave a ticket to. So what the hell, weird, weird connection. So I am I am four degrees of Kevin Bacon from the uh, from one of the winners of the $1.6 million or billion dollars. I'm gonna call him. And with that, I'm going to make myself a cocktail. Because I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I told him I can be any Josh you want me to be if you pay me some of those winnings. <laughs> I'm going to eat this pizza. Yeah, that is what you should do. Do you want to do that red box rental? Oh, yeah. We 
could go to Walmart and I kinda need milk and eggs. Ben says, you don't need milk, I need milk. I need milk. Uh, <laughs> 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 I went, I figured out the uh, Redbox app. Hopefully Sicario is safe for me. I'm using my, my freebie coupon, so let's go get it now, because it's supposed to be amazing. Well, in my never ending uh, surprise at the depths of which I can travel. Explain this. Okay. I, uh, I reserved the movie at the wrong red box. It said uh, Walmart Supercenter and it gave me a location which looked like uh, the location down the street from me in Cerritos. Turns out it was in Anaheim on La Palma Street and that's like 17 miles away. So I called up Redbox and said, hey, what can you do about this? And they said, well, we can't do anything about the reservation. You're gonna pay the, I think it was some kind of tax, whatever. Um, but we'll reissue you a credit and you can pick up uh, wherever you want um, if you just use the credit at the kiosk. So they're emailing me and that's uh, that's pretty good customer service. So good work on Redbox on that one. Got to appreciate that one. I, it just becomes infinitely harder if you start using apps and websites and all that versus just going in and hitting the kiosk and like, I'm gonna watch that now because they do that really well. Um, this other stuff though, it's apparently me. I can't seem to pay attention long enough to make it done right. <laughs> wow, things are just breaking left and right around me. So my my trusty uh, little stretchy arm here that I use on my cell phone, this just, the spring gave out. Ah, everything's breaking. <laughs> All right, I hope this is as good as it looks or as good as I've been told because I've been to three red box now over the course of a couple of weeks to get this. Life just got hard. Okay, we've got it. You wanna go out in the backyard? Yeah. Okay, can you put your jacket, give me your jacket. So Ben had a late night desire to come into the backyard. So are you you're cutting wood, bud? Yeah. Figured it out. You figured it out? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, Ellen. huh? Ellen. Okay. You're gonna be a good kid, man. You're gonna, we're gonna get you all kinds of cool stuff when you get older and can swing an axe. Oh. Yeah. That one? That was good, yeah, sure, why not? That one? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, too heavy. Oh, too heavy, jeez. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna make popcorn. We might have some more pizza. Leia did this before and it worked really well. Can you pour that into this bag? Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, you tried. That's how you do it, okay? See all those little kernels? We're gonna try and let's set the microwave up for popcorn. So you just put your popcorn in this bag. Set it on popcorn. Um, realistically, we're just gonna cook it until it stops popping. Hey Ben, come here, ready? Okay, hold, hold on to this, hold on here. Here we go. Can you click that button? You got it! All right, let's back you up. Even though I know scientifically there's no issue with microwaves at this range. I don't want to mess with the idea or the concept that I could be hurting my son. So let's talk a bit of science. What's going on here is there's moisture inside the popcorn. You don't need oil or anything like that because the oil is just used to transfer heat to the kernel from your stovetop or whatever. When it's in the microwave, the moisture in the microwave is being, or I'm sorry, the moisture in the kernel is being agitated by the microwaves to such an extreme state that it gasifies and the gasification is what causes the kernel to explode and thus become popcorn. It's that heat transfer is what we're trying to do. And the microwave does it 
without having to use oil. So in, in complete fairness to this procedure, we did have a couple of kernels that got a little burnt and I quickly threw them out of the bag. Um, let's make some, let's get some salt in there and some butter. Okay, I've warmed up a bit of butter. I'm gonna add some sea salt here. No, you can't do it. I actually don't know how much I got in there. Probably enough. I'm distributing the butter. Yes! Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Bra. 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 Oh, there's so many uncooked kernels. This is not the best method. This is not the preferred method. All right. Because like 45 minutes later, we're about to watch Sicario. Question of the day. What was your favorite movie that came out in the last year? And I mean like 2015, like this, around that, the whole thing. Here's my 10 second review of Sicario. A super fun movie to watch for the action and everything that goes on it. If you think that it is tied in any sense of reality, you need to get your head checked. That is not real. That is not what really happens. And if you think that happens, well, post in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.